Okay, so just a quick update here. What's happening in the greenhouse? Kind of had a little bit of a uh, uh, momentary break from gardening. Uh, well, you really never stop gardening, but uh, a momentary break from working on uh, anything new in the garden while I'm working on some of my automation systems for the greenhouse and aquaponics. But in the meantime, just want to give a quick update on the greenhouse. So we've uh, got these two uh, uh, bok choy gone. They've been gone all winter, which I find interesting. The rest didn't make it, but these two wanted to stick in. They, they made it through a pretty cold winter. It got down to the teens most nights uh, for, for at least a month. And so they, they, hang, they hung on and uh, getting some of my mulch down and uh, preparing some of the beds. And I've already put down some uh, Swiss chard over there. It's slow to come up, but I guess that's what's, what happens when it's real cold. And I've never planted Swiss chard before, so I'm kind of learning. But it seems like the ones that I planted that were uh, in the, when it was in the teens, they kind of just hugged close to the ground. Yeah, you know, they just sat there. They, I thought they died, but they didn't die. They just they hung in there real close. And what's happening is now it's starting to warm up. They're starting to come up. So I'm just kind of learning uh, about Swiss chard and you know the dormancy of the seeds. I figured the seeds would stay dormant until it's time to go then they would just come up but it looks like they came up and they kind of receded and went back down and then now they're coming back up now starting to warm up so all really relatively exciting and so what I'm doing today is it's the second day in weightlifting class <sighs> new to uh, uh, um, uh, greenhouse or hoop house gardening and so I'm bringing all my my crops out and putting them in the greenhouse so mostly the tomatoes I want them to get as much heat as possible and sunlight as possible to get ready uh, for going to be selling some of them and the rest are going in the garden and bringing some of my lettuce out getting them going too. Um, some of the things I worked on this year were miserable failures in the winter and trying to keep warm out here so I'll talk more about <laughs> some of the things I did uh, in terms of you know th this is a, a fan that was blowing uh, cold, I'm sorry, hot air during the daytime under the ground using the ground as a uh, as a thermal mass which uh, it kind of worked well it gave me an additional five to maybe seven degrees not as much as I would like uh, enough to expand next year on that and um, uh, use a lot more uh, corrugated pipe so this corrugated tubing I, I guess I have about uh, about 30 feet and I, and I think I'm probably going to want to go next year and, and snake it around outside outside the greenhouse for some you know some reasons that that I sorted out is that uh, what I notice is that it would heat the ground up during the day which is great for the plants uh, but if you leave it running at night it takes the cold air and just cools the ground right back down so you could you really could put it on a light um, some sort of light turn off switch or, or timer so that during the daytime it takes the heat out the greenhouse and puts it in the ground which the plants love and heats up the beds for the for the uh, whatever you got growing in the beds and then nighttime um, you're supposed to slowly radiate the heat back into the hoop house so that's something I learned something I've sorted out and I'm gonna do better next year when we, when we expand and build uh, uh, further greenhouses and, and redesign this one and fix her up and this was actually a corrugated tubing that uh, that attached here to this one and what it would do is it would pull the hottest air of the daytime because the greenhouse gets to be 90 degrees and it'll pull that hot air and push it down underground you know so that's how it cool off during the daytime is pull the hottest air but anyway and some solar panels I built those are uh, guys I had hooked up to this little fan right here little PC fan and she actually was doing good I had her hooked up to the corrugated uh, pipe and she was pushing um, air underground and uh, she just wasn't pushing enough air so um, I think what I'll do with some of the greenhouse automation ideas I have is um, that'll be hooked up to a DC blower motor um, for next winter but anyway so just bringing plants out so I got tons of tomatoes got some Abe Lincoln's and uh, red Siberians and I think got some beef steak in there they're about three or four 
I know, and I'm sorry, they're Cherokee in here. So they're actually, I think I have about five varieties going right now. And I've, I've got another three that I'm about to start. I uh, want to do some of the different color tomatoes. So I got purple and red, and I got orange, and I got tiger striped, all, all heirloom. Um, so I'm going to get some different flavors and taste going this year uh, in doing some cooking. Then we got our squash going. And uh, got some more Swiss chard and spinach and uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and bok choy. And so anyway, just carried all these trays out there, some more lettuce. And uh, having fun. I think I'm going to work on some of the, the hanging garden stuff. So I'm going to have some hanging tomatoes or strawberries that I started uh, putting up. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring any grow towers out in this greenhouse. But anyway, also started some figs. So working on my, my fruit tree um, expansions here. So, you know, we actually got a lot of... Uh, uh, got a, well, we got a lot of orange, a lot, a lot of citrus this year. So we got some uh, couple orange trees, lemons, couple limes. You know, I already have about eight or nine avocado, and uh, want to get some figs going. And then I'm gonna do some persimmons. So that's that's another thing is persimmons. I don't know anything about persimmons. I think someone just told me persimmons actually are are native to the East Coast, and I didn't know that, or at least a variety is. So. Uh, if anyone knows anything about persimmons, I'd certainly love to hear your, your knowledge and um, how to grow them and what varieties work best in, in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, so we're zone 6. And, uh, but anyway, that's, that's what I'm up to today. Then I have to go work on some more automation stuff. Uh, I've got uh, some code I'm working on to rotate the solar panels, tracking the sun, and uh, got my turbine out there, my uh, vault turbine she uh, had a storm yesterday she held up pretty well so uh, pretty excited with that but uh, I'll, I'll post more on that later once I uh, <laughs> sort out the technology and and if I don't end up like myself on fire but anyway that's just what I'm up to hope you guys have a good day and uh, happy gardening to you thanks for watching